Yes, yes, Fallout is one of my favourite game series of all time and right now it's as popular as it's ever been with a new Fallout TV show. So what better way to celebrate one of my favourite game franchises than to rank the Fallout games. But in this video, I will only be ranking the Bethesda Fallout games. I will be doing a ranking of all the other Fallout games in the future, but those games are old, you know, they come out in the 90s and that. And I feel as though it's not really fair to compare them to some of the later games, even if some of them older games are arguably better. But yo, let's have it! So at number 4, I have Fallout 76, no surprise here, right? Most hated game in the Fallout series, but hold on, because I actually dig this game. I think it's dope. Now I'll admit, I didn't play it when it very first came out, so I never experienced the buggy, lifeless mess that it once was, but when I finally come around to playing it years later, I had an absolute blast with this one. No gas, I think this game is so much fun. And to everybody out there saying that a Fallout game cannot be multiplayer, I could not disagree more. I think the multiplayer in this game works fine, and if you can find a friend or a lover to play this with, you're gonna have a good time too. No, it ain't your traditional Fallout game, but neither was Fallout 3 when that dropped. Now, with Fallout 5, I definitely want the single-player story to be the main aspect of that game. I want to be like 95% of that game, in fact. But if they would like to add an extra multiplayer mode, I'm down for it. Now, number 3, I'm about to really piss some people off, but I have Fallout New Vegas. First of all, this game is dope. It's a masterpiece. It's got an amazing story and a pretty cool setting. There ain't really much I dislike about this game, but I like other games better. Fallout New Vegas is almost a unique game in the Fallout series, and it does a lot of unique things. I mean, it's even unique from the get-go because you don't start off in a vault, there's no massive stepping out moment, you just wake up in a small village settlement, injured on a bed and you go from there. So I said that the dope desert setting is obviously a positive, but I also think it can be a negative. Obviously, with it being a much older game, there is just so much dead space, and because it's just sand and rock, it can get a little bit boring at times. Well, that's all just minor complaints, because the story is phenomenal, and it has the return of one of the more unique characters in gaming. On top of that, all the fractions remain interesting throughout the game, and you do actually care about every decision you make. Fallout New Vegas is dope. Number 2. I'm going with Fallout 3. Now, I'll say this. My favourite Fallout game can actually change from one second to the next, depending on what mood you catch me in. I'm either going to say Fallout 3 is my favourite or Fallout 4. And today, I'm just feeling Fallout 4. So, of course, my number two spot, going with Fallout 3. What can I say about this game except for it's amazing? And I don't care about none of your snobs online picking out every little detail in the game trying to somehow ruin its reputation, which ain't gonna happen because I'll fight y'all to the death and I don't play around with no bitch fools. Fallout 3's dope. First of all, it's one of the most atmospheric games in the series and one of the most atmospheric games of all time. If you don't believe me, play this game and turn off a radio and just explore. This game contains some of my favourite characters in all the gaming, including the return of my favourite Fallout character of all time, Harold the Tree Man, my homie. This game has amazing dialogue, extreme choices, and you can seriously play this however you want. You can be the nicest guy ever or the most evil psychopath imaginable, and I love it. The colour scheme of this game really works, a lot of greys and greens, which may sound boring, but it never once feels boring. It just feels atmospheric and eerie. It's pretty much up there with like Gillied Up from Call of Duty 4. And let's not forget, this game has the best step out scene in the series. I really can't praise this game enough, it just hits all the right spots for me. Maybe this game does have details which might not make sense in the real world, the main one being how the city is so destroyed despite the fact the game takes place like 200 years after the bombs drop. But hey, you know what? It's a video game so y'all can suck it. Fallout 3 is dope. So of course, number one I've got Fallout 4. This game gets way too much hate. And I understand a lot of the hate. It's not the best RPG game, it's technically not the best Fallout game. But it is right now my favourite Fallout game. Maybe it's because I'm currently doing a Let's Play on my channel right now, but I'm getting mad nostalgic for this game lately, and it ain't even that old. This game's just awesome. Now, I will get the main negative out of the way. There is less choices in this game. In fact, this game practically holds your hands and makes you follow a certain path to a degree. That's not to say there isn't major choices that you have to make, not at all, but there is just less of it. To me, the positive seriously out of the way the negative, the combat feels so good. I still suck at it, but it honestly just feels like the best combat in Fallout. It feels like any good FPS game. I love the setting of this game. I love the bright colours. Now, I have heard some of the criticism saying that the bright colours take away from some of the sadness felt in, say, Fallout 3. And I probably agree with that. But also remember, Fallout 4 and Fallout 3 are two totally different games. And I think it actually helps Fallout 4 so unique and stand out. I really love the characters in this game. I love how different fractions play out. And of course, I love the best location in any Fallout out game diamond city baby the radio stations are the best the game is the most fun 
And all around, I just think this game is an absolute masterpiece. So my number one spot, of course, Fallout 4. And that's it, guys. That's my ranking of a Fallout series. Controversial, I know, but hey, I'm a controversial guy. What can I say? Let me know in the comments which one your favourite Fallout games are. You can even rank them if you want. And yo, catch me in the next one. But for now, have it.